Hello friends, in the last video we discussed about Telegram's theorem and in this video I will go to tell you Miller's theorem. This is the one of the important theorem in network theory. Let's see the statement of Miller's theorem. It states that if an impedance is connected between input and input and output nodes of an amplifier having gain AV and reference node N. Then the impedance can be replaced by two impedances. One impedance connected between input and reference node and the other in impedance connected between output and reference node. This statement means if we have an impedance between two terminals that is input and output terminals we can simply replace that impedance into two impedances. That is, one impedance is connected between the input and reference node and another input is connected between the reference node and the output. Let's see this uh, circuit diagrams then we can understand better way. Here observe, this is the two port network. Two port network means this is the one port, this is input port and this is the output port. Input voltage is V1 and input current is I1. Output voltage is V2 and output current is I2. Here I connected an impedance Z in between the input and output terminals. This is the reference node. I can represent this impedance into two impedances like this. Like this Z1 and, and Z2. This is Z2 and this is Z1. Z1 is connected between the input and reference node and Z2 is connected between the reference node and input output now the question is how the z1 and z2 will be calculated the z1 and z2 will be calculated by using this formulas z1 equal to z by 1 minus av z2 equal to z by 1 minus 1 by av here av is nothing but voltage gain of an amplifier consider this is an amplifier amplifier uh, the amplifier means it amplifies the input signal and produces output. It must have a voltage gain. Voltage gain is nothing but AV is equal to output voltage by input voltage. Here output voltage is V2 and input voltage is V1. That is V2 by V1 is the voltage gain. Okay. Finally, I, I can conclude this. By using Miller's theorem, we can replace an impedance with the two impedances. Okay, this is about Miller's theorem. If you have any doubt, you can comment me in the comment box. Next video onwards, I will go to tell you about resonance. Okay, thank you. Thank you for watching this video.